Big it up YouTube, it's your boy, Kurt Tier 7 What's going on? Been a minute, it's been a hot minute. Um, I wasn't really going to make a video, but I just wanted to get something off my chest and have a bit of a heart to heart. And I just want to know if any of you guys are feeling the same way I'm feeling um, about FIFA 20. Um, look, FIFA 20 overall, for me personally, I actually really, really enjoyed it. It's the first FIFA in about two to three years that I actually thrashed. Um, mate, I can say I've played many, many, many hours of this game this season. Um, mostly Ultimate Team, because let's be real, it's the only game mode that's given any love. So why am I gonna play a game, a game mode that doesn't get any love from EA, like alt, um, career mode? A lot of you guys know me from career mode, and it's sad how, man, it just hasn't had any love in about two decades. Honestly, in the last 20 years, what have we actually seen that's amazing with career mode? Absolutely nothing. If anything, it's probably gone downhill from every season from 20 years on. You know, which is sad to say, pro clubs, it's gone downhill. Online seasons, does that even exist anymore? Who's playing that? It's only Ultimate Team. Um, so Ultimate Team is where I played this season and I had a lot of fun doing it along the way. It was pretty cool, uh, pretty cool up until about now where it is absolutely dead. And I'm pretty, no, I wouldn't say I'm upset because I kind of seen this coming, but it's just sad, you know? I look at the Premier League, it's probably the most popular league in the world. And there's three game weeks to go, and it is literally everything to play for by the title. Liverpool already signed that up. That was done and dusted at Christmas, you know. But top four races closer than ever. That's things are hitting up. The relegation battle is fucking hot. Um, that's going to be interesting to see, you know. It, there's a lot to play for, but yeah, on FIFA, the game mode is dead. We had team of the season so far. You know, a month ago, or about six weeks ago, and it's like EA Sports took our money and just ran. Didn't give us nothing back in return. Okay, so now that we've all got our team of the season, um, we want to play now. We want to play with these players and, and, and try and get more things, you know? Look, I want to keep it real with you guys, keep it 100. I'm not going to lie to you. I probably spent about two to three hundred bucks on Ultimate Team this season out my own money. Uh, on top of the 70 bucks it cost to buy this game. And I think it's crap how we're 10 months into this game. I've spent about 370 bucks. And I still can't play with my favorite players. Like R9 for example. Yeah? One of the greatest strikers to have ever played the game. He's on FIFA. And yet, I've paid $370 and I still have not used him. It's criminal. It's criminal, in my opinion. And I'm sure you guys are the same. A lot of you guys probably can't play with your favorite players. Or haven't yet, you know? And I just think it's so sad, you know? Especially for those who have, like myself, who have grinded this year. Um, we've just got nothing out in return. Um, it would be good if EA just, like, implement something where if you did, say, the Weekend League. I thrashed the Weekend League this year. Um, albeit I'm not that good, come watch me on Twitch, link is in the description, but they should make it, if you, like, let's just say you hit gold to 20 times this season, that's 20 weekends of your life out of 52 in a year that you have played doing Ultimate Team, and you're going to get nothing at the end of it, they should give you something, if you've wasted, not wasted, but if you've grinded for 20 weeks, playing Ultimate Team, if you've hit Goal 2, or you've hit Elite, or whatever you have hit, you should be rewarded for something, you know, or at least your favorite player, you know, if I want Cristiano Ronaldo and it's at the end of the game, I should have him, you know, I should be able to play with my favorite players when I've gone this deep into this game, when I've spent this much money, and I've played as much as I've actually played, do you know what I mean? Maybe I'll just make a, a FIFA 21 wish list on Ultimate Team, Stay tuned for that. I think I might do that because there's so many things EA Sports can do to actually make this game mode just a little bit better, just a little bit more fairer. You know what I mean? Don't be just stealing from us and just giving us nothing back. Do you know what I mean? I think it, it should be a bit more give and take in my opinion, but look, 
with EA Sports, it's been one-way traffic for years. And it's sad to say, it really is, you know? Um, the game's pretty much dead with a couple months to go. And it's sad because real life, Premier League, it's heating up. You know what I mean? It's still going. You, you would think that the Premier League season finished three months ago. Albeit there was a pandemic. I get it. Do you know what I mean? But it came back. It was hot for a minute. And now it's just dead. Ultimate team. And it's just sad to see. You know? But I want to know how you guys feel. Do you feel the same? Maybe you don't care. Maybe you've seen this coming. Maybe it's, I'm just excited because it was the first FIFA I got back into um, in a few years. Maybe it's just that. But give us your opinion in the comments below. I'm keen to uh, hear what you guys have to say. But other than that, lads, I will be playing Ultimate Team this weekend. So if you want to see me play live on Twitch, click the link in the description. I've got a schedule now playing four times a week on Twitch and I'm going to be uploading to YouTube on the regular. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's, I've been your boy, QXS7. Stay tuned for maybe that FIFA 21 wish list. What do you reckon, huh? <laughs> anyways, lads, I'm your boy. Take care and peace.